sippy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Project Cars 2. Project Cars 2 making its debut back here on the channel. Definitely been looking forward to getting back into this a little bit. So today's a little bit different. I am um, you probably can't see it, but we're gonna get the camera on. But I do have uh basically a hood app open up on my phone, which is right next to my wheel, I'm probably gonna mount it up top here so that I can see it better when I'm driving. But we're just here on Project Cars 2 to see if we can't get acclimated back onto it. And uh, we are in this, we're in a cone. <laughs> we're in this GTR um, here, tr gonna see if we can uh, get a lap here at Norschleiven. Turn my wipers off, I don't know why my wipers are on. We're gonna go back into that hood view to start. Project Cars 2's is definitely, uh, been a bitter pill for a lot of people uh, because of the issues with the wheel so I've been wanting to get back into it but just haven't really had the time or effort or want to because of the wheel issues but I think um, I'm gonna try and get back more into Project Car 2's videos so if you guys want to see Project Cars 2 make sure you guys comment and like this video as well as comment down below what you guys think we're just ripping this uh, GTR here at Norschleiven Ooh, or wrecking Norschleiven. Oof. We do have authentic um, assists on, so that's why there is some ABS and some uh, traction control, but um, we are definitely here trying to get back into this, this game. If you don't play it or haven't played it, it's, uh, it's a different monster on a wheel. The, uh, the physics, the snapback, everything is just really interesting and uh, this hood app is pretty cool though being able to see it so I could pretty much turn the hood off on the game if I wanted to and mount that up higher or use one of my other tablets to uh, use it but it's pretty cool it just uses the uh, if your Xbox or whatever is connected to the uh, same Wi-Fi or internet set server as your phone which it should be the app works perfectly fine. Ooh. This GTR is uh, pretty fun, but it gets sketchy too, and I'm gonna lose that. Uh, like I said, that snapback is definitely uh, very treacherous in Project Cars too. Try a little third person view, maybe this will help me a little bit. There we go. I was hoping this GTR would spit some flames, but it's uh, not really spitting flames. Definitely also going to probably be getting back into a set of Corsa as well. Ooh, excuse me. There's flames, and then we're going to wreck it. Don't save it. Gosh. If you guys have never tried Project Cars 2, it's definitely a different game. Maybe we're going to try it. We're going to switch wheels. We're going to go back to the smaller wheel and see maybe if the bigger wheel is actually causing some issues for me. Luckily we have our AM Studios quick releases. We're also going to go into the cockpit view that I like so much more where it actually follows to the apex. There we go. There we go. This GTR does not seem like it's fast, but it is definitely pretty quick. Although this, uh, the apex turning is tripping me out a little bit. I'm not used to it. Definitely would have to definitely drive this more to get used to it. There we go. So, I think the bigger wheel, I may have been, uh, turning a little bit too much, causing the, uh, that snap back to cause major issues. Maybe not. But with a small wheel, I can't correct that. It's definitely. Uh, I don't think I have a handbrake. I don't even know what I was trying to do with that. But uh, this uh, this game has been a problem for a lot of people, and uh, it's very sad because Project Cars One was a pretty fun game, and Project Cars Two just. Uh, 
kind of uh, dropped the ball, I guess you could say, with for wheel users on the Xbox One. I'm not sure if PC's different. I'm pretty sure PC people don't have issues as much as the Xbox One people do, or people on other wheels don't have the issues like the G920 users are. But uh, now we're getting a little bit better here in this GTR. I definitely should move that HUD maybe right below my monitor. Probably something I will think about doing here in the future, getting another mount if I continue to run Project Cars 2. But I know I can also get that for Assetto for the PC. So I will be probably doing a full HUD setup for Assetto on the PC, which I will be getting into here soon. Just have to uh, get all my settings and everything dialed in like I want to. All here is rocks and everything bouncing around underneath this car. Project Cars 2 definitely looks beautiful, for sure. It's just the uh, the driving aspect of it is definitely very simulation and very... Uh, you gotta really, uh, really want to drive the car in order to play Project Cars 2 because it's meant for full sim racing and full, you know, the full realistic feel, so... Because I did notice a lot of people, the hype for this game has kind of dropped. But I want to try and, you know, do a little bit more on the channel here and see if I can't maybe get the hype back a little bit. Because it is a very beautiful game. Oh, there we go. I think I'm getting a handle of it now. Ooh. As I say that, I almost lose it. It feels like this thing just wants to break traction. Which is funny because it's got that massive wing on the back. Ah, oh, I didn't break enough for that turn. There we go. We're good. There we go. So definitely starting to get a handle of this GTR here at Norschleiven. Probably going to switch up cars, maybe run another car here at Nuremberg or Norschleiven. Oh boy, I almost lost it there. So the smaller wheel is definitely a little bit nicer. So I think I might be doing a 320 millimeter wheel for racing purposes. Um, definitely look at probably getting a 320 millimeter, you know, energy innovations wheel so that I can run smaller suede or leather wrapped wheel for racing and then have my 350 millimeter wood grain wheel for Drifting, I may get a suede drift wheel as well. That line was way off. That was definitely the wrong gear. Grass is not your friend in Project Cars 2. That is definitely for sure. But I do like the realism feel with uh, damage factors and performance and breakdown and uh, mechanical failures and such. I can see that, you know, motor just peeking through that hood. Wish I could just take the hood off and run no hood, but they won't let you do that. There's not many games that actually let you do that, which is actually a sad thing. I wish Forza and such allowed you to remove, you know, body panels such as, you know, hoods and bumpers and stuff. So the set of course of mods are definitely where that's at for sure. So, not a very respectable time by any means, but we did stop in the middle of the track to switch the wheel. And uh, I have been trying to acclimate myself back here in Project Cars 2. Ooh. I am fighting this wheel though. This is no joke. The force feedback on this is insane. So this is uh, not too horrible. But we're probably gonna top out and it's bumpy. I didn't realize I was doing 170 miles an hour, 280 kilometers an hour. Ease on the brakes there, don't wanna brake too hard, there we go. Definitely gonna try and finish this lap off, and then we're gonna switch cars up. 
My other pet peeve on Project Cars 2 is the fact that if the car has paddle shifters, you cannot use a shifter. So it limits a lot of the cars I can drive because of that. But I am going to be building a full sequential shifter, so that will alleviate that problem. Yeah. Uh, well, we also did stop in the beginning, so we're going to switch up cars now. We're going to see what other cars we can uh, get into here on North Schleiven because uh, having a little bit of fun here so maybe we'll switch into a BMW or something on those lines I'm not sure but we are definitely going to uh, see what kind of car we want to get into see I wish I could race some of these but uh, like I said uh, unfortunately because of paddle shifters it won't let me and I don't run paddle shifters so that's partially my fault as well so what do I want to run? I don't know if you guys have a favorite car that you guys, if you do play Project Cars to your favorite car to drive. Uh, I'm definitely trying to find something that I know has a shifter in it and not a paddle shifters. I think all these Ferraris have paddles, so we're not gonna run any of those. Fords, well, you know what? There is that Mustang. There is a Mustang race car that we could run since we did just run that GTR. Um, I have a feeling this is going to, I'm going to regret this decision, but we're going to run that Mustang race car. Uh, I may regret this decision because of the simple fact of uh, rear wheel drive and Project Cars 2 and being very twitchy I don't think the wheel is actually that much of a difference it may help a little bit so we're gonna switch to the big rim just in case this car decides it wants to get sideways and we have to correct it hopefully we're able to correct it actually but you know who knows we'll probably end up in the wall but you know first time back here on project cars 2 since it came out I played it for a couple days when it came out and then I just stopped uh, because of the wheel force feedback issues that were bugging me so i will catch you guys as soon as i load in and uh we'll get this mustang on north live and see how many times we can not wreck all right so we're back here with the mustang and uh it's already i can already see this is going to be interesting because it's already just wanting to smoke the tires We're gonna stay in third person for the beginning. See how this works. Part of me wishes that that apex turning that they have in the cockpit would do something like that on third person. There we go. Easy on the brakes. You'd think this big wing would keep this back into this car planet, and it's not doing too bad right now. I've already uh done some damage to the rear tires of this car. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, don't lose it. This is definitely a pretty powerful car. Oh, and we hit the grass. But we didn't wreck the car, so that's a plus. So we're gonna go cockpit view and see how this works. Don't think it's gonna work in our favor. I do have the helmet turned off in my cockpit view because I don't like seeing the helmet. There we go. Not too, too bad. I'm trying to be nice and smooth with this car because definitely trying not to unsettle it because then it's just probably going to get out of my hands and probably break my wrists with the snap back. But uh, not doing too, too bad right now. I know we gotta slow up for there, so we're gonna slow up now. There we go. The big wing is definitely keeping rear traction as I say that. Oh, as I say that. Oh man, that hurts. And I don't think we're gonna make that turn. 
turning radius of this car, not the greatest. I do like this hood view though, the kind of raised hood view. Got that RTR on the hood. Definitely thinking I may uh, dabble into the fun pack here on another episode with that Von Gittin Jr. FD car that is in that pack. Let me see if I can uh, get some good slides in an FD car here on Project Cars 2 because the Mad Mike Vet car is just way too, way, way too powerful. I've tried it. It doesn't work out in my favor. But this uh, this RTR race Mustang is not handling too bad right now here at Norschleiven. So, so like I said, guys, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want to see more Project Cars videos, let me know down in the comment section down below. Because uh, it would be fun to get back into Project Cars, but I don't have that many friends that actually play Project Cars. So... If you guys have Project Cars 2 and you want to play Project Cars 2 and you guys want to do some online racing and whatnot, let me know as well. Uh, maybe I will be, you know, get some of you guys online and we, uh, we can do some online racing here on Project Cars 2 and see uh, how that works. Could be a fun time. We're just actually getting in with this Mustang now. That was bad. Almost really bad. But uh, we're definitely getting the handle back here on Project Cars 2, so this is good. Definitely going to try and keep on this at least once or so a week, personally. Ooh, just tap. Uh, that was kind of a unintentional drift, but uh, I guess it worked. We uh, tapped the rear bumper, probably did some damage to the car. Then again, I can't tell. This doesn't look like I did, so. That V8 just sounds so menacing underneath the hood. Which brings me to another point of my last episode with that Camaro. Um, I am also looking at possibly building that wide body Mustang as well, because uh, uh, those wide body cars are definitely a lot of fun in Forza 7. And uh, driving this Mustang kind of. Uh, makes me want to build one of those because uh, I do like the Mustang chassis I do like the Camaro chassis as well for you know this style especially on the wide body styles normal styles eh. but wide body styles like this one and that wide body Camaro are definitely uh, up there on uh, look factor and uh, definitely very menacing this we're not doing too bad definitely uh could be doing a lot worse oh as i say that we saved it though we saved the car that's all that matters i know my lines are horrible right now but probably definitely gonna do some more racing here to try and get my lines better Ooh. there we go I feel like we're definitely a lot faster than we were in that GTR for sure. I could be wrong though, but we're going to see how this works. So like I said, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you guys still play it or you don't play it. Do you play it on a wheel? Do you not play it on a wheel? Is it, you know, still not playable for you? Or did you just sell it after like day two of owning it? Because I know a lot of people sold it. I kept it because uh, I hope was hoping it would get fixed and it doesn't feel too bad now. So definitely think maybe they did some adjustments in the wheel wheel side of it because it feels really good right now so uh the wheel does not feel bad at all except for that so i think that's going to do it here for this episode here on project cars 2 if you guys want to see more don't forget to follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below so until next time guys i like thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit. I think we're just going to send it. I don't have E-Race set up, so. I didn't think that was going to work, but we're going to try and send this. Nope. Nope. That didn't work. So, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.